Hello and welcome to another Sakazi's video review. Just for you quickly though, I have managed to put the, the Zen X53 within its tough love case. And to be honest with you, it was very hard and very, um, how should I put it? I was very worried about breaking the player. The player. Um, it's very tight, this case. I mean, it's incredibly tight. Let me show you how tight it is. Um, I can barely pull that. And that's with quite a bit of strength, you know. I can barely pull that. Um, getting it in was very, very difficult. So I had to really push hard, pull up, push hard, pull up, push down. Um, I had to wiggle it around um, and by doing that because it's so tight there I'd be wearing out um, the sides here so it end up looking oh I haven't got it on me but imagine the player um, especially if it, if it has a silver back uh, that's made from plastic and being continually being worn um, it reveals this undercoating layer of plastic that's how bad this player could become now I don't know if I, whether or not I want to want to keep it in this case for the reason of this case doesn't even fully protect it now it protects the screen you have this very cheap plastic material on it, the same material that, well, they use like in shower curtains. I mean, come on, I mean, look at that. Cheap. And horrible, nasty. I mean, I can't even really feel it. It's horrible, it's horrible. And dust is getting underneath this cover. I mean, look at the cover, allows dust underneath the screen. Well, not underneath the screen, but underneath the protector. Um, it doesn't help at all. Um, the sides, the buttons here and everything are exposed. So if this is, is if this is in your in your bag, it's gonna bump, it's gonna uh, chip, and it's gonna wear off the paint and the plastic. Um, so this case offers very little protection. I mean, all it is useful for maybe is for clipping on your belt like that. That's all, really. I mean, clipping it, or um, it can't really clip it because of this. This is, this just comes off. That's the major flaw. And then the nice part about this is the clip here. It comes off like that. You can get the Zen out. Getting the Zen out is also difficult. Um, there you go. That's the unit inside the case. Um, I keep it in there for now while it recharges. I haven't recharged it yet. It's brand new. Um, that's another bit of advice. Yeah. Um, when you get an MP3 player, don't recharge it for like half an hour. Then use it. Make sure you give her your uh, MP3 player. I mean, that applies to any MP3 player, any phone, any anything that has a battery rechargeable give it at least a few hours to recharge until until the lights green or when a unit turns off um, that gives it a nice stable recharge and when you use the player and when and use it when the battery goes completely empty do not recharge when it's half full don't recharge when it's 75 percent full you know doing that will wear out your battery cycles and eventually I mean you, within maybe even a few months your battery could end up dead and with units like these, these batteries are not removable. We're not going with the Zen Nomad here with these players. Um, these ones do not have removable batteries, and that's all I have to say, really. Uh, any, any other advice? Not really. Um, if you have a Zen, try and get a case for it. I wouldn't recommend this one from Tough Love. This is my re review of the Tough Love case in a separate review with the Zen. Um, it is a very bad case getting it in was a major problem that was the first time I ever used the Zen in the case as you saw in my last video and immediately I knew the, the case was bad if you can't even get your, your player into the case without without struggling you know it with struggle with struggle it's, it's bad you know um, I have no more to say about this the next time what I want to do is leave it in the case I want to get this case here I'm going to show you this one just quickly okay so this is the problem about the case. So imagine the Zen X5, the same unit as in here. Now this is just a dummy, a uh, paper dummy. See, you could use a unit like that, but the screen's exposed. However though, look at this. Because of the silicon case, it's all protected compared to this. Look at it. it none of this is protected at all. Um, the point of a case is to protect your player. The only thing that is protected, this is like reverse here, is the screen. But the screen protector is really bad. I mean, look at now it's beginning to sweat. Can you see that little black scribble there? That's like that's like moisture being sucked in from the heat and dust is underneath that. So eventually, you're not going to be able to screen. You'll be able to see. You're going to have to take this out, clean it, and you're going to have worn out edges. Now this one here, remove this. This is just dummy. See, it? just card. All protected inside. The only things that are left out are the ports. 
speakers, USB, uh, headphones, and so forth, micro SD, and the power button. But there is no screen protector. But what beats this, this, this simple creative one which came bundled free with the Zen, well not free but I bought it as a bundle, is look, this, this case alone was $12.99 and I expect better quality from Tough Love. I didn't do anything to damage this by the way, this is what, how it came. And you can tell this was one of those units that was glued, it wasn't assembled this way, it wasn't moulded. It was assembled using glue and, and stitching, which is not very good. This was assembled using a better moulding process, this is all one unit. Changeable with the clip. Um, my, I've changed my... Um, originally I said I thought the Tough Love case would be better, but that was my last review. Now this one is definitely better. You also get a very nice keyring thing there. So you can have it on your bag, or whatever you want really. I wouldn't have it dangling too much, it might damage the screen, you know, it might crack it in. But um, next time I'm going to try and find a screen protector, put the Zen back in this case and keep it in there. Um, silicon is way better anyway as a protective, because it's no stitching, look, no... It won't rub your player raw. Very nice and soft inside so you can easily, and you don't have to glide it in and out, you can just... Here look, cardboard, plop it in like that, oh, look at that, in. This one took me about 20 minutes to get in the case. That's pretty bad. And that's, and I've used cases all my life. I mean, every single product I've had, including my Zen Vision M, which is the old legendary player, Zen Vision M beats all most iPods even today. <laughs> that, even that one had a case, well, a leather case that was just a simple flip up one that you put in. And that protected it pretty well until I dropped it several times. Um, but silicon cases are generally better because they also absorb damage and also this one here covers the volume buttons this one does not cover the volume buttons so these volume buttons will be worn out as well I mean I know I go on a little bit in my video reviews but in my reviews are not just strictly about commenting you know I like